how do you know if a light language is for you? So the reason I'm doing this in a separate video is because a lot of information is going to come through about this and I'm just going to listen to spirit and let them flow with me. The light language speaks to the heart and soul. There are multiple galaxies and planets and light beings embodied at this time. And different crews, light crews or different light beings have different light languages. In order to know if something is for you, not all light languages are for you. I'm seeing the Sirius, Syrian, um, Syrian star, I want to say, or the planet of Sirius. I'm also seeing the Seven Sisters, Pleiades, all of those things. Now, different light languages are attuned to different frequencies on different planets in galaxies and different realms for different light beings. So, the, when I say not all light languages are for you, give them an example, Mom says Ava. All right, somebody sent me a light language channel and I started to play it and all of a sudden, I, there was a weird, it was like a weird frequency and vibration it pulled me out of balance. Like I could literally feel my energy going like this rather than aligning and having the complete Kundalini opening of above and below through a through way of my energy. The light language, it becomes a through way of energy. It's like gold stardust running through me. It's like having unconditional love melted into my entire being. It is very affirming. It is very reassuring. And it, it is above all else, Wayne Dyer says, it is very loving. So when I listen to this brief, I want to say 20, not 20 seconds, the second that they started into the light language channel, the frequency of it literally was separating my energy. Now, here's why this is important. Meant to attune your energy to activate soul core knowings, is that correct? DNA light codes, gifts and abilities, okay? That's the intention of light language rolling through consciousness at this time. Now, because not all light languages are tuned to you, that was the feeling that I had. It was like pulling my balance. It didn't ring true in my ears or it rang at a frequency that was not resonant with my frequency. That is because that was from a different planet. They're talking about planetary alignments. So some planets of lower frequencies, there are beings of lower frequencies on the planet at this time, and they will attune to that frequency and they will find that frequency when they are meant to. Some of them are not meant to be on the planet at this time. They're actually, it's almost like the higher frequencies must get louder. They must anchor. They must anchor. They must get louder. It brings the balance in and it actually dims the lower dense uh, vibrational frequencies in consciousness. I'm not sure why this is coming through right now, but it is. And I trust it because it is so clear. I'm hearing, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. They want to talk about the light language. So here's why this is also important. There are those who sing in light languages. You will know when it's for you. It's like lights exploding. It's like fireworks. It's like, oh, how do I explain it? It's like your soul dances for a moment. Light explodes in the body as Again, my dear friend Jude explained it. it was like a light bomb going off in her soul and her spirit. So when we have a light language that isn't attuned to us or is from a different planetary di dimension, they want to be, I was going to say a planetary um, interdimensional. They're saying it's from another dimension, the ones where the frequency um, disrupts the balance. So there's ones that align and bring in that light code energy, but there's also ones that disseminate dissipate or disconnect energy as well. So be very, very mindful what you attune, you listen to, what you take in, what you watch, what you allow in your subtle energy fields, in your consciousness, because we're moving into a time of rapid fire karma, rapid fire cause and effect. It's almost like time has been sped up, I want to say. So time has been sped up in the essence of there's no longer such a delay of seeing that thing that you are envisioning manifesting or your energy is aligning with. It comes immediately or very quickly, okay? Whether it's good 
or bad or right or wrong or high or low is irrelevant. That is how the energy is moving and aligning. So I'm being told to talk about the energetic chaos. That's why we have energetic chaos right now. The karmic release, things balancing out. It allows, I'm being also told, trust in the divine detours that you receive. They will be powerful. It's allowing you to take back a piece of yourself that was left in another life. Everything is gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. There are very powerful channels in being embodied on this planet right now, bringing in that highest frequency to allow for the balance, to ensure that, I'm not sure that it's to ensure because I feel like everyone will get on their path no matter what because divine intervention and divine reordering is happening and no small-minded small minded people or crews, no matter how um, infinitely strong they feel they are, they will be conquered is what I'm hearing. It is inevitable. It is written. It is part of the di divine blueprint that is playing out on the consciousness of the planet Earth. Um, and now I hear my daughter, I believe I can fly. So all of the things that have been happening, the philandering, the um, suppression, the oppression, the mind control, the blinders, the dark sheets. I wanna say in December of 2021, I did a live channel and my daughter had come through because she was giving me visions of what was happening. And it was like a blanket of dark. This is really important and it keeps coming up because she's telling me that was channeled previously, but not for that time in history for everybody. Now we're coming where it's actually happening for masses. That's why the next wave of souls was ready at the end of December, beginning of January of 2022, 2023. It was already marked on the timelines and that is how it is flowing. So light languages, when we talk about light languages, that's why it's super important to protect the mind. Your mind is one of the tools that spirit uses. It also sets up parameters for your experience. Now, if everyone's a creator, if I'm a creator and you're a creator, and let's say you don't like me and you're flinging energy or thoughts or words towards my energy, that is inherently going to hit me. So when I say light languages, the whole purpose is to fill your energy with all the light, all the divine, all the things, joy, peace, uh, the infinite, love. I want to say there's so many, there's so many words here, integrity, truth, kindness, harmony, freedom. I'm hearing freedom, freedom, because I don't belong to you and you don't belong to me. So let's go back to divine light channelings. So your throat chakra, your throat chakra actually has an energetic resonance that flows out of it. So when you speak, when we're doing light languages, you're receiving absolute divine expression from from God's from God's lips to her ears is what I'm hearing. Absolute light expression, divinity, archangels, God flowing out of the light channeler's voice and throat. It cannot be affected by the spells and words cast by the many languages of man. It transcends the languages of man. That is also written. That's why light channels are profound. That's also why it's very important that when you listen to light language of any sort, yes, there are things that are in tongues. You might say, well, I don't understand it. Your soul knows what is for you. Your body is a barometer. Remember that? Your body will know immediately if a light language is for you, if what you're hearing is for you. It will feel off, it will feel dense, it will feel heavy, it will feel confusing. As I said, it was like unbalancing uh, my energy for, I don't know how else to describe that, that experience, but the reason I had that experience was so that I could understand this piece. So when I have an experience, what I do is I ask, what was the purpose of this experience? What does it mean to my soul? And what does it mean on my path and my journey? So what does it mean? There are languages of different frequencies that are light languages, including in tongues. So some people say light languages is tongues. Sometimes the tongues are that of ancient spoken tongues that have happened on the planet. There's many, I'm getting a lot of African ancient tongues, um, hearing that that 
there's something about that. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, if that resonates with you, then please take that message. It, it feels like a, it's a confirmation for somebody. If I'm speaking it, it's because somebody is, needs to receive that because that's clearly not something I would bring through. Um, it's the voice of spirit. So to be very clear, pay attention how your body feels, how your soul feels when you're taking in information, when you are um, listening to things, when you are attuning to somebody's frequency or listening to them. Pay close attention. Your body is a barometer. You feel truth. Truth can be felt at the very core of your being. When a lie comes out, this is why the throat chakra has been so targeted. That's why if we go through our ancestors, it has been silenced. Think about it. Your throat chakra is the expression of the divine. It carries the energy of the divine. It carries the energy of God. It can also carry the energy of hate. It can carry the energy of love or hate. Light language at the highest frequencies. Wayne is going like this. Wayne Dyer is literally nodding my head. He's saying, thank you, Erin. So somebody who has been connecting or being with Wayne Dyer is just affirming for you that this is a message for you. Your throat chakra is extremely powerful. Use it wisely. Choose for love to flow through it. So light languages of higher frequencies are literally spirit's language of love and it's from your, um, the, I have the planetary commission showing up. Different light languages are originate from different planets in different dimensions. Light channelings and light languages are intended to bypass that logical brain, that concept of trying to figure it out because of the mass amounts of targeting to the minds and consciousness of the masses is what I'm hearing. So light languages transcends, overrides that and moves directly into the core essence of who we are. And that is the beauty of it. What an amazing channel that just came through. I am so glad to be here with all of you. I, I just, I'm just filled with love for all of you amazing people and the information that comes through for all of us. Truly a blessing, truly a blessing. Thank you so much. I'm being told, yes, um, whoever this message is for, yes, you are a star seed. Yes, you have lived many lives. Yes, you are here. I have Dolores Cannon now. She's saying, yes, you are here as part of the wave of the volunteers. You are being called to trust. Consciousness moves through you. You are doing more than you could possibly understand logically. You have an entire spiritual team surrounding you, backing you in everything you do. You don't have to trust me in what I'm saying. You need to trust that. And I'm being told whoever this message is for, it's potential that you could actually see those light beings surrounding you. You can see the archangels surrounding you. You can see the mother of all creation, the origination of light, the, where it's stemming from the dark, the origination of light. You can see the galaxies. You can see the Milky Way. You can see, you can see, you can see. Trust your knowing you are not seeing incorrectly. You are seeing more than you could possibly fathom. And I'm so grateful that you're here on this planet. I'm so grateful that you're here with us. Namaste. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It is a co-creation and an energy exchange between us. When you subscribe to my channel, when you like the videos, it actually attunes your energy and your guides and those those in the spirit realms and in the other dimensions and the planetary commission who keeps coming up because they have a lot to say or rather put back into place for the balancing. They're here to help, to help. And channels bring that information through as a vessel allowing it to come through for the highest guidance for those who attune to this channel. So if this message resonated with you, please like, share and subscribe.